one just for Colts. They're headed by Barid at seven to one, Frankie Dottori in the saddle. Bad as I want to be at 11 to two, Pat Henry, Bannister and Richard Hughes at 10 to one. Bram Stoker is a 20 to one chance, the mount of John Reed. Informed Jimmy Fortune on Endless Summer at seven to one, Gaith at 12 to one, Richard Hills. Joplin at 33 to one, Paul Scallon. And then Minardi, the five to four on favorite at $1.6 million as a yearling, the most valuable runner in the race, Mick Canan in the saddle. And then the cheapest bought runner, Pomfret Lad, just cost 10,000 guineas. What a dream if he could win. Seb Sanders in the saddle, 10 to one. Red carpet at the bottom, Johnny Murta, 16 to one. 10 run for this, the middle part stage. On against Minardi with 11 to two bar, bad as my wannabe, trying to emulate Bahamian Bounty four years ago, won the pre morni came on to win the middle part. It's then eight to one against Bar, Reed, nine to one endless summer. You can then get 12 to one against Pomfret Lad and three runners up in the middle reef have come on to win the middle part. Tuddenham was the first to do it in 1972. And Bram Stoker is a 25 to one chance with Bannister in at 12 to one against Bannister. And seven horses have won the gym crack and come on to win the middle part. Royal applause was the last to do that five years ago. Middle part stakes and they break away. Gaith on the extreme right, the blue jacket just restrained, leaving the gate to beginning fast was Joplin, the stable companion of the favourite Minardi, ensuring a good gallop is Joplin from Bannister. And then the red jacketed red carpet on the near side, bad as I want to be, is a very prominent early on. Minardi moving through into the next place with Gaith. And then held up at the back is Endless Summer. Just in front of Endless Summer is Barrett and Bram Stoker. As they run through the first quarter mile, they're not hanging about Joplin by a length and a half to red carpet, bad as I want to be. And then uh, in, on the far side, Pomfret Ladd, Bannister between horses, then Bram Stoker, the white face favourite to Minardi on the near side, six to five on, he went off, Barred on the far side. They settle down now for the final two and a half furlongs in this middle park stakes. Red carpet comes through to head Joplin, bad as I want to be in the centre, the yellow jacket on the outside. Here's Minardi now delivering a run under Mick Canan. Pomfret Ladd on the far side running a big race. Endless summer next, then Barred behind runners. Minardi's just in front entering the final furlong endless summer trying hard on the outside but minardi is beginning to stretch now from endless summer then red carpet and minardi justifies favoritism in second endless summer red carpet then bad as i want to be from pomfret lad and barred and bram stoker joplin next gaith and bannister was last to finish well minardi confirming his tall reputation justifying the strong support down in the betting ring Class Colt in the making. Six to five on, paying two pounds on the tote, places 130 for Minardi, 190 for Endless Summer, and 370 for Red Carpet. Exacta seven pounds twenty, straight forecast eight pounds five.